I think she might be the youngest executive director of the NASW chapters of the, in the different states. Uh, I worked with her for two years at NASW and I would say that she is probably the most visionary boss I've ever worked for. There was never an idea that was too bold, there was never an idea that was too much work. Nothing is ever too much work for Danielle, she dives right into a project. I've known her as an intern, I've known her as her board member, and now as her staff member, and in all three roles, I've been so happy to work with her. She, her leadership style uh, lets you feel that she is completely confident in your abilities and really makes you want to elevate your skill set to the level that she thinks you're at <laughs> and expects you to be at. As a board member, I remember having a lot of discussions about what do we do when Danielle leaves NASW or what do we do when Danielle wants to move on and not that that's coming anytime soon but she has built this organization so well that we are constantly trying to figure out okay what do we do when she uh, leaves and takes her knowledge and her leadership skills with her. I think that she is an incredible advocate for our profession and wherever she goes she will be a champion for social work. And I think the future for Danielle, I mean, she's, you know, she hasn't even reached the peak of her, her career yet. And she's, you know, transformed the NASW Ohio chapter to be one of the highest performing chapters in the country. And, you know, I think sky's the limit for her. I, I'm excited to see what comes next. <laughs>